Let's say I've just led a pitch and arrived at this stance and I need to build an anchor. There's endless stuff to learn about anchors, endless variety in anchor building, but here are a few tips to help you out. After you place your first piece, why not clip to it? You're on belay, but your last piece is who knows where down there. So now I'm much safer as I build the rest of my anchor. Notice I haven't clipped to this carabiner. My rope would get in my way as I build the rest of the anchor. So if I have a sling or a draw left, I like to use that. Now, I need a couple more pieces. And I will use my cordelette to equalize these pieces. When I use the cordelette to build an anchor, when I pull that W, the knot likes to get in the way. So a couple things I can do. I can tie a clove hitch, and now as I pull the W, the knot stays put. I used to do that, and for whatever reason, I've started skipping that step. And lately, I just pull the W, the knot ends up wherever it ends up, and then I'll grab the back of that leg and pull it, and then do a sawing motion with the other hand, and just put the knot where I want it, up out of the way. So whatever you've done to get the knot out of the way, now you're ready to tie your master point. And if you tie an overhand, it's going to end up down here. If you tie a figure eight, your master point will end up a little higher. So another tip here, if you want your master point up here at a comfortable working level, as I would in this stance, go ahead and start making your figure eight and then just keep twisting, making like a figure nine or a figure 10, whatever you want to call that knot eats up material and moves your master point and your shelf higher. And now I'm ready to tether the clove hitch. Take the slack out of the system and call off belay. Now I can belay off the master point. I could belay off the shelf. Here's one more tip. Sometimes you build your anchor. You're like, yeah, my partner's coming from here. And then you realize as you put your partner on belay, they're actually coming from over here. Oh, now I'm not equalized perfectly. Well, I've got my partner on belay. I don't want to stop and rebuild my anchor. A really quick fix is just to add wraps. One wrap there, maybe two wraps there. Tilts the whole anchor this way. Great. Now I'm equalized again.